I address my work to the best audience within me. And then through that, I can present it to others. Well, sometimes the title comes along with the drawing. I make many drawings searching for a form. Sometimes the title is there, or maybe it comes later, or maybe I think of one and then I change my mind, and that's a disaster. Oh, there is our building where my studio is on the fifth floor. When I moved in here, it was our apartment as well as the studio, and that worked really well for me. I like to wake up at two in the morning and look at a painting. And so that worked quite well and still does. It was 8,000 square feet. We have a front room and a back room. On the opposing wall is another group called the gem paintings. Call them gems because they're faceted as gems are. On the end wall is one of the black paintings. So we go through, um, there's more black paintings and what I call twist paintings because they're rectangles twisted in order to make the form. So here's a 1985 painting. Toward the end of the 50s, there were new possibilities introduced by artists. Uh, Jasper Johns, Rauschenberg, they introduced uh, imagery back, uh, recognizable imagery, not simply abstract work, uh, although continuing was exactly that also. And there were new uh, movements of art considered, like the new abstraction, pop art, uh, earthworks. I was trying to offer something new. I became increasingly interested in construction and geometry of a new kind. That's the way my work went uh, away from expressionism earlier to this other way of making art. Beginning in 1964, first there were uh, two-dimensional panels held by ropes and hinge, like a fulcrum-like idea, and then that gave way to these three-dimensional paintings that I showed at Richard Feigen a few months later. And in this first show, I, I introduced a lot of different ideas all in the same show because that's the way my mind was working. And, <laughs> and so, and often I would uh, go back to this two-dimensional way and then go on to three-dimensional paintings. Another change in my work was white paintings. In 75, I made this all-white show. The paintings were all white uh, at Denise René with a white marble floor in New York. And so that was a very memorable show for me. White reoccurs and color reoccurs. It comes back again and it doesn't go in a straight arrow path. <laughs>